Got a beer? Seven o'clock in the morning. Scotch? You're listening to the Jimmy and Steve Morning Alternative on WDDE. The uh, final farewell, 1,555th gala sort of anniversary celebration here, and we're next to DVE. The studio's in uh, sort of a DVE open space right here. Jimmy is here. Jimmy? Yes, I'm here, Steve. And I'm here. We have also, from the very early days when we first started on the air, Borb used to work down at the station, and she would laugh at all of our stuff. Oh, and, Borb and is the greatest. To she this laughed. day, she's the only known person who's actually laughed at anything that we've ever done. We don't have any verification of anybody else ever laughing. So We, lo we looked at her for justification, because I could always look at Steve, and he'd look back at me and go, that's pretty dumb. And then I'd look at Borb, and she'd go, <laughs> So Borb, put your hand match, up, Borb, yeah. so the audience can see you. There's Borb. There's Borb. Yay! And a one-time employee of DVE before he went elsewhere to make money. And and also a uh, played on uh, some of our sports teams, too, Kevin Gemeiter, who actually brought something. I'm going to go open it up right now. Yeah, it's a big thing. It's probably a, a giant nude picture of Steve robbing parking meters, isn't it? He's opening it up. Oh, my gosh. Best oh my gosh. Steve, lift it up. Show it. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Oh. It's a beautifully framed Jimmy and Steve in the morning t shirt. Now, Kevin, see, we don't live together, Kevin. There's only one here. What, what oh, exactly that's... did you have in mind? Now, pick one of us. Pick one of us. Which one do you like better? Who do you like? <laughs> Okay, Steve. Uh, <laughs> but you went to another station. You're not working for us anymore. Kevin, uh, you're making the big bucks now. Well, one That's of the beautiful. people that That's Carl beautiful. M. Greffenstedt, chief executive officer of Carl M. Greffenstedt Enterprises, Flash Cat Morning Radio Division, discovered many, many years ago was Bull Moose Jackson. Carl, how did this momentous discovery come about? Once again, the story? It was a dark and stormy night, late September. Uh, actually, someone just told me a moose was alive and in Washington, D.C., so I, I, I called I called to Washington, and I said, hey, give me a moose. There he was, and here he is today. And, uh, and Moose has gone on to record his first ever album, right? Right, because back in the old days, there were all those big 78s, of course. Now, wait, throw in a plug. Moose had the world's first R&B million-selling record in 1948, Moose. Right. Hey. So, I mean, we're talking serious it's business done. here. <laughs> And uh, Bull Moose Jackson is going to be with the Flash Cats at Graffiti Halloween Night. Next Friday. And he's going tonight to play in New York. At... Yeah, as soon as this show is over, we're leaving for New York to play at Tramps up there in the village. Gosh, I wonder if we could get Bull Moose to do one of his great hits. Do you, do you think maybe if everybody here with us today would uh, put their hands on their head in the ceremonial and Moose salutes, if we can get up there. And start the All right. Moose. 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 person with a low voice so darn warm i can't stand it <laughs> well we are here for the 1555th and final jimmy and steve morning alternative it's a lot and of uh, yeah we're just about um two hours from our complete nervous breakdown right now which we will do live on the air so if you want to get the tape ready it should be a lot of fun i just want to tell you briefly that uh, we are flying to florida today and steve has three suitcases of laundry that hasn't been done yet uh so if anybody has you know some free time or would like to do steve's wash well we have a volunteer, Steve. All right. I'll have it over to your house in about 10 minutes. Well, uh, we're going to perk right along here on DVE. We um, should do the weather. We're discharged. Yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be all right. Wait a minute. Things like we did, that. We, they did the weather good last time. Uh, how's the weather again? Warm, dark. Warm, dark. Warm and dark. And getting lighter. And how's the traffic on the parkway? Busy. Busy. Oh, good. But just going in, right? There you got it. Okay, DVE, and this is a band. Probably Genesis or Phil Collins had something to do with it. I imagine. 